everyone. Clay well, here and 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 Aiden <laughs> and me. So we're back with another video unboxing, unboxing and video. review video. So this is we. I bought this set for like seventy five dollars. I thought you bought it for six. No, I bought it for like. Oh yeah, I think it was like it was seventy cents. Yeah, I bought it with a box. I could have bought it for like fifty some, except I bought it for like seventy some because I want it in a box. Your hands are not in frame. Um, so we bought this Galaxy Squad Hot we Hive Crawler. Set number seven oh seven oh eight. Yep, in the back, Tuzi back. It has a little damage because we didn't buy it perfectly. It has a little rip right here. <laughs> Is it picking over that one? <laughs> Um, so it comes with this little vehicle, the giant hive crawler. Just cut the box open. Okay. okay, so we got the box open. Now, it's time to look inside. What are is in here? Oh, I already see the beautiful pieces. That is way bigger than I thought it was. So here is just a look at the now one it's instruction. Two. This is the number one. One of the two instruction <gasps> Oh, the, the stickers. The Gray stickers that Gray. I will be applying for good reason. <laughs> This is okay. beautiful. Booklet number one. What are we building in booklet? Okay, so we're building the people. speeder bike and the base of the hive crawler. Oh, and this we're building the hive. The rest of the hive crawler. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well. I guess we'll just uh, cut to the speed build. just finished our build well sort of i guess and um Working now we will be here. reviewing the minifigures yeah so the first one we have is this mantazoid as you can see he has a very you they can't even see it because you just like yes, put your hand. they have put a, your hand in front what do you mean i have a custom headpiece very custom it's kind of like rubbery as you can when see when you say custom in the lego community that means that you custom made it same thing at this point no <laughs> it's um only comes in this set. Wait. They have a very intricately molded rubber, rubberized headpiece. So you can see, very, just like the antenna, even the mandibles, they're just very squishy. It's a very <laughs> squishy, bouncy. Uh, oh, well, wow. you, you you just saw that. That, if you, like, maybe you did it, like, bounced Boing. at the speed of light. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> this thing is We're going to have some fun with that later. Yeah. So, anyways, to complete the mantis look, you, yeah. you have him. Kind of like with his mantis-like appendages, so he can put his head back on yeah. to complete the aesthetic. Aesthetic. Hand is still in the way. I know. There we go. Big tan flesh blob. <laughs> Big tan flesh blob. Tan, but okay. <clears throat> so yeah, he has four eyes as opposed to the normal two. Oh, he does? Yes, he has oh, four okay. eyes. <laughs> and he has his uh, praying hands ready. Anyway. He has praying his he has his praying hands ready to pray on this prey. <laughs> okay, anyways, next minifigure. Okay, so next we have what the Lego what Lego literally calls Red Robot Sidekick with Jetpack. <laughs> it's so weird. So um yeah, so basically they didn't give the robots like actual cliche robot names. Like Ted. Only the minifigures got only the humans got that. But um I'll see what I mean in a second. But yeah, he has my, a very interesting head mold, probably my least favorite in the series. Favorite in the series. <laughs> but I am warming up, my heart is warming up to it a little more as I see it in person, but I still think it's the ugliest out of all of the robot molds throughout the series. <laughs> he has these laser th Cutter things, very, the same piece. Very similar to well, it's the, same, the Mantis. Well, it's the same piece as that, just molded in a different color. So this is supposed to be actually a part of the alien, while that's supposed to be some sort of laser energy sword. <laughs> laser energy. On the back, he has a... He has a backpack, or like a um, stud attachment point harness, whatever you call it. For the, the minifigures uh, that attaches to these five pieces, and then that just goes right on his back here, and uh, yeah, 
Nothing really notable about him besides his weird, possibly alien-inspired head. And when I say alien, I mean the movie. Yeah. Next. Next up, we have Billy Starbeam. So, <laughs> he is... That's, that's a fun name. I, <laughs> all the characters in the series have fun names, and I'll point out... I, so, <laughs> so, basically... So, like, all the characters in the series have names like Billy Starbeam or... You know, Leo, uh, uh, Alien. Leroy Moondust or something like that. <laughs> that was just random. That is beautiful. Or Max Meteor. Like, things like that. So, what if your last name, like, what if you want to try it for the Galaxy like, Squad, but your last name was, like, just like a, nor let's, let's just say, uh, Tags. So, like. Tags? So, yeah. So, you say, so, uh, let's say, let's say, um. William Teggs wanted to join. Oh, sorry, you don't have a you don't have a spacey name. You can't join. But then some hobo living off the street who happens to have his last name is Moonbeam happens to get in because it you know, it's just weird weird coincidence. <laughs> but yeah, um, unlike all the other minifigures thus far, because he actually has a minifigure head, unlike the weird mold for the. Alien, I mean the red sidekick with jetpack or the mantisoid, he has an alternate expression. So taking this mask around, you can see that he has an actual, actually pretty handsome face. It's a little stubble. Little stubble. Studs. Now I don't think he's dating yet, so you can still get it. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, now to the actual review of the set. No, actually, we missed something. Our last thing is this thing. We have, it comes with two, but we're only gonna be reviewing one. Yeah. Um, you can see in the little background, it's popping with this little thingy. With a bugoid larva. Yeah, Wait, nope, that did not break, it break. If you pop it open, it comes with this thing. It's either this weird scorpion looking thing. Or flip it upside down to make it become a mosquito. A flying, yeah. Probably the more terrifying of the two. Yeah, they, I can't, they, they this can't. one looks cute. Like, look at this eye. He needs a friend. Yes, this is his friend. Ah, uh. <laughs> okay. okay, now on to the build, now that we've gotten past this two very disturbing buckoid larva. Okay, so this is the finished result. Real assault? Real assault. Now, this uh, creature <laughs> you guys have probably seen your fair share of from the intro more than you probably ever wanted to see of the creature. But, I mean, if the intro didn't scar you, then here's another look <laughs> at the face of this beast. And this thing is just creepy, okay? Like, even its legs move. Like, that's a feature. Just like, ah! It just looks like the way they move. It's, ah, weird and creepy. <sighs> if you If you have some sort of phobia of large insects that may happen to be crawling in your bedroom right now. I, uh, this set is not for you. Also, please see a therapist. <laughs> so, uh, first, so feature number one, first off, Ada, where'd you go? First off, there are these dual swivelly cannons. Swivelly cannons. Swib swivelly. Um, swivelly cannons that just, you know, point in a lot of directions, especially forward and up and sideways and other sideways, but specifically up, forward, sideways, and other sideways. So yeah, very schwibbly. I think that's a, not a word. Mm, probably. <laughs> okay, and then you might see the manzoid poking out right here. No, he's not controlling the beast, I don't think. But yeah, you can easily access him in his convenient chair that's grown onto this insect. You know, I'm confused. Like, this thing seems to be made of flesh. You mean bug? Yeah, flesh? because look, it can lay eggs, like back here. But it has a control-like panel. So I'm confused. It can also operate without the control panel, which means it has the brain, so maybe... It's like a partial control thing. I don't know. This is it's pretty strange. So yeah, take the mandazoid out of there. This thing, it on the box, it's functioning without its own. So I'm guessing that it can just 
have someone make up its mind for it if it just feels like not making decisions. I wish, well. And so, and then coming back here, you see this very interesting and almost unfinished looking area. Well, that's because this is home to a catapult. Oh, that went far that time. So basically these things, the little capsules are designed to pop open. And if I can just get it open on, Nope. Was that on screen? I don't know. I didn't even open. Ah, no. No. Oh, well, that works too. As you... No, no. I wanted to catapult. <laughs> it's, it's fun. You just ruined the chance both times. Thanks it's a lot. It's fun. Hey. Well, as you can see, that's what it's supposed to do. And now, uh, function. Function is function, right? Yeah, right. Okay. So let's take three. There we go. That was perfect and on the dollar. So yeah. Oh wait, can I see these capsules? So yeah, do you see? Unlike mo oh whoa, camera. As you can see, unlike most Lego capsules, could you stop creating rockets? It has. They have these rounded edges. I'm not sure if, how well you're able to see that. It has a rounded lip on the edge, and that allows it to break apart more easily as compared. To as compared to a square, because the circle is less friction. Yes. It's just physics. Physics. It's physics. So yeah. But you know that I, we probably should have reviewed the smaller stuff first. What do you mean smaller stuff? You mean like the face? Yeah. So moving on with him, we have Bill, <laughs> Billy Starbeams, little uh, red team speeder. So yeah, it's not really much. I mean, it doesn't even have a control system. You know, you're just supposed to imagine that. Oh, wait, what's that piece doing here? Um, okay, but, uh, yeah, he there's a clip for his gun at the side. There's two uh, laser thing, cannons at the front. And then this little interesting uh, handle in the back here. And that is actually, if you, uh, give me, oh, no, 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 I need those, though. No, those don't go with them. Yeah, they do. They go under here. So, basically, uh, these also uh, go right under the bill just like sue 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 of not sponsored not sponsored hashtag nooch boonshard do you do you actually have to say hashtag not sponsored if you mention a brand well you didn't mention the exact name something you have to say it so this thing actually like because the robot sidekick he has a jetpack but what good is that if you need something even more powerful than a jetpack what's more powerful well, a mini glider of your own. That's like the sea glide from Subnautica. Sort of, but way longer. Yeah, and and spacified. Spacified. So yeah. Spacified. Just putting his hands in the proper alignment. Stop creating ruckus. <coughs> so yeah, you can see that he has his nice uh, little own, like little uh, spacecraft that he can just fly around with. And that is simply connected in the back by um, a uh, two peg, like a two peg connection, two peg connection in the back. And that's basically it. So now on to a comparison of sets that, now on to a comparison of sets that we have that, um, both of them made, come on. What is this, 1792? <laughs> now on to a comparison of uh, some sets that had similarities. So, believe me, we, uh, I mean, the, the similarity, because we don't, haven't really ever had anything like this, like this, it, it was kind of difficult. We can keep it here, goodness. Because we haven't ever had anything like this before, it's been, it's going to be, it's like we had to look a little harder than normal to find something with similarities. But first up, with my slightly modified super secret police dropship that I just got for my birthday, this beauty. I, 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 at the time, we didn't think about doing a Lego review, so, you know, I get to skip, skip you out on the review here. But, yeah, the things that are modified, basically, are this turret. Uh, up here, I m but beefed up the turret, and inside, I took out a middle air, a little middle uh, pole that was just 
Usually. taking up space. But yeah, as you can see, they both have these swiveling turrets at the front, and they both have actually the same little uh, thi thing here where where they are actually able to go up and down because of the hinge pieces that they're attached to. So yeah, also on the bottom, they both have some sort of gear-like function that allows their appendages to move. So yeah, this one has a gearbox on the bottom of there. This one, well, it's less, it's less gear, well, I mean, I guess it's, kind of equally, you know, you have this intricate system where as the wheels move, it flips those things around, not in tandem, but it sw swings them around oppositely, because so this one's down while this one's up. You know, it's just... I almost messed that up. So yeah. So yeah. And then fi second of all, <sighs> I, I always want to have at least two to compare it to. So we have this squid from my Aquarators set that we might do a review of in the future. So this squid, uh, I mean, it uses swivelies and it has six appendages. I told you I was running on a limb here. Okay, now on to our final verdict. This beautiful set was released. Actually, I don't know when, when it was released. What? It was like at least five years ago this theme first uh, released. I'm not sure. If it was 2015, wait, was it more recent than that? I'm not sure. But this set originally retailed for $60 in the US and include, and now with inflation, I don't know. Don't know how it originally was. But yeah, this thing originally retailed for 70 bucks. I mean, 2012. no, sorry. 2012 to wait, 2013. Wait, it was up to, I mean, sorry, 60 bucks. Tw wait, 2013? Um, Galaxy Squad was that long ago? I'm that in old? January 2013 with several sets. Man, you're making released. me feel old. <laughs> okay, stop. Um, See so yeah, ya. And this thing was pretty... Like, I haven't seen anything similar since its release. Like, this leg function... I mean, we've seen it, like, other places, but not complete, exactly like this, to my knowledge. Oh, look. Aiden, look, he happens to go right over the red. Look, look at that. Oh, well. But yeah, not really quite like this. So, like, you get the leg with these huge eye, eye pieces, which are exclusive to the set. I mean, this, like, the shape of these is not exclusive, but them in red with this pattern is never released. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not released again. Dang it, why am I not sure of anything? It might have been released in other Galaxy Squad sets, if anywhere, but out of the Galaxy Squad, this it was not released. Back here, this catapult. I think this was a really good catapult design because Aiden, where's the eggs? Right here. Dude, we need to have this all on set, man. <laughs> As you can see, when, one thing that it did, ah, basically, Siri, it's not working now, yeah. now that I'm trying to present it. No, it's basically okay so yeah you see it only does one egg at a time and then it just moves on with the next egg so it's a very handy little contraption there that i'm not sure yeah which was just very awesome for the time and honestly i think that this is a pretty solid set it didn't even fly. so no, if some didn't. of you have problems with how oh yeah so if some of you have problems with how it looks, you know, it's just very creepy and buggy. I mean, there's always an easy... Oh, no. We'll fix it. It's there's fun. always an easy solution, you know. If one of your siblings happens to bring this, just a uh, can of wasp killer. That should keep them out. <laughs> non sponsored So, so uh, just for good measure, 